Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. It's not going to be a very long video. But today I want to talk about. After so long, I got to the point where I just I really didn't know who to ever find it. Now the search oh, is over for Thomas D. Walker's family. It's just amazing how it all came together. It's a 37 year old woman. Like I always tell y'all, go down to my playlist. I don't ask you to like my videos. I don't care if you dislike the video. I don't. I always say what matters to me is the playlist that I have of the people's channel that I go by. I don't sit on all of them. I just go through, check out some things, and move on. Especially if it's something that I ain't interested in, I ain't going to sit on it. And some of it I'm not interested in. And some of it I go by to see, um, I go by to see what are they talking about. Especially if I'm on somebody's channel and they mention that person's name. I'll go by their channel and check it out. This new channel that I've been checking out is called, her name is SL. Oh, I can't remember the last, I'm sorry. Nutrition, I think is what it is. I like her commentary. I, I like how she she commentates on her her channel. I like it. And she's in my playlist if you go down there. I got a lot of I don't put people's stuff up. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to um put up uh Elysio or Arona videos in my my video here. I feel like if I create a playlist and then just send everybody to the playlist and just come here and sit here and, and just do my commentating on talking about it. And I take notes. Sometimes I'll take notes. This time I didn't. But I'm trying to remember stuff off the top of my head. But today I'm talking about Aron. And if you don't know who Aron is, like I said, go to my playlist. Let me turn this TV down. Look here. Don't buzz bumps in your face. Look at this shit here. See that? I had a, for makeup, y'all, take your makeup off when you put your makeup on. I was just too lazy to take this shit off. And if y'all see this right here, that's because I've had radiation. That's what that is, so, you know. That's why my neck look like that. One side darker than the other. And if you know about radiation, you know it burns you. So I've been burnt by radiation, so, and it, it don't bother me. I've gotten used to it. It took me a while to get used to it, but she, it is what it is. But anyway, um, I'm going to turn this bullshit down. Um, okay. Got your mama. I'll be there in a minute. Let me do this. Yeah, um, Arona is a girl who used to date 50 cents, and along the way, something happened where they broke up she probably uh, was nerve fucking wracking because she nerve wracking to me. It's hard for me to watch Arona. I have to go back and watch uh, Arona on other people's station because uh, watching her live, I just get so pissed off because she's a 37, I think, year old woman. Ain't got nothing going for herself. Nothing. She sat around on this. <coughs> Social media. <coughs> Thank you. Excuse me. That's my COPD. I got all kind of fucked up shit wrong. But I ain't complaining. It is what it is. All I do is drink me a little water and keep on the fuck going. I should shut what well, I did shake it up. Let me shake it up again. Get some oxygen in it. And then take me another damn drink. But yeah, y'all wear makeup, take your shit off. I was lazy, didn't take my shit off. And look what it done. Look at that. I hate that. I've never had bumps in my face. Even even growing up, I didn't have uh bumps in my face. Never, 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 never. My first little bump, well I had another one over here, but that cause it ain't cause no motherfucking what's that this shit they said that boy got? Um 
What's that bullshit? They said a lady yoga, I think it was herpes or something. I ain't got no goddamn herpes. I don't fuck around like that. I don't I don't do that. If I'm with you, I'm with you. It ain't you, me, and nobody else. And once I leave your ass, I sit back and I dissect what the hell went wrong with that relationship that I just got out of and before I move on to some more other bullshit. And before I sleep with your bitch ass, I make sure you good. Cause I'm good, you know? But yeah, I'm talking about Arona today. But Arona is a 37 year old woman who don't work, who live off of donation. Everybody want damn donation. Donation, everybody want donation. And ain't doing shit to get no donation. Now she ain't doing shit, but getting on here making some dry ass music. Y'all ought to hear that, that shit is bullshit. That is bullshit. She just all over the place. Like my fucking show. She all over the place. She everywhere. One minute she making music. Next minute she doing tarot card reading. Next minute she doing t-shirts and uh, webinars and all that bullshit, spending money, and she got these people who send her money and take care of her. Well, she been over in the Bahama. Uh, she get check off of YouTube. I don't get no check off of YouTube. Uh, I get a check off of me. <laughs> me. It's my check. Me. I, I don't use this for no money. It ain't no money involved. It's just my my, my, Mitzi, personal opinion on okay? So I don't get no money off of this. I just come back and report on my channel what I see and, you know, what I like and what I don't like. And Arona, like I said, 37-year-old woman living in an airport in, uh, was in... LAX but she got up enough money I guess from her YouTube channel that she got paid off of got up enough money and went to the Bahamas went over to the Bahamas I think when they were over there a week went to jail she lived in the airport at LAX she homeless but like I said she was a once a girlfriend of 50 cents Something went wrong in the relationship and um, they broke up. And she was working, but she couldn't work because she was all up on this damn phone trying to do lives and shit. You can't do that shit when you at work. Work is work. You do this shit here when you get off work. Not while you at work or on your break. But she trying to do this shit here and I guess still trying to make money. And uh, got fired off of one of the jobs. And this been going on with her for a minute. Um, about as long as Nature Boy been on the, this damn media site. But she stay in the airport. And she begs for donations. She don't just come out and say, y'all donate. Can y'all give me? She dry big. You know, you, know you know you got them in your family. They dry big from your ass. I got them in my family. Be always trying to make you feel sorry for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I see the ass coming. I see the ass coming out. Mm-mm. Here come JoJo. When you say here come JoJo, you already know JoJo coming to bed for something. If it ain't a beer, cigarette, blunt, something to eat, or some money. And ain't nobody got shit for it, JoJo. I don't. Uh-uh. Not me. But Arona get on here and dry bed. And they'll feel sorry for her and send her money. I don't send her no money. And ain't gonna send her no money. That ain't what my money for. No. No, no. But right now, well, not now, 
she was in the Bahamas. But she got over there, was over there the first week. I had one even a complete week and has done something and said she went to jail. I think she was in in, in a little holding cell or something. And uh, she ended up getting out. Well, she met this man, the two guys. She met two guys. One named Sean and one named Shamir. Well, I guess Sean uh, wasn't attracted. She wasn't attracted to the one named Sean. And the one named Shamir, I guess she was attracted to him because he was tall guy. Look at my damn ears stand up. He was a tall guy. And had handsome, nice looking. He was looking all right. Sean is not a bad looking man. But I guess it wasn't something she was interested in. She was more interested in the, the other one. And she ended up taking up with the other one. Now she wasn't even over there, y'all, I'm telling you, a good week. And she, the man let her come to his house and stay because she was standing out on the beach and a like a little cabano behind him. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but I am. She was standing in the damn cabano behind the club where, where she had been drinking. And she pulled a suitcase around, a big ass suitcase on wheels that somebody bought for her, one of her, her viewers bought for her. A big one, great old big one. You know the one that you pull in the airport? This motherfucker's a big one. Everywhere she go, she's pulling this big ass goddamn suitcase. You look suspicious. You out pulling a suitcase in the middle of the day, girl. Come on. You don't think nobody gonna look at you and say, well, what is wrong with that woman? Why they won't put in that suitcase like that in the middle of the day? Everywhere she go, even in restaurant. And then the thing is so big, that it get in people's way, wherever she's at. It get in their way. And they be crossing over the damn thing, have to step over the thing that she be trying to get mad. You can't get mad. Prop that motherfucker up next to you. Stand it up, it got wheels on it. It's got a handle on it. Prop that motherfucker up next to you so people don't have to cross over. That's inconvenience of us. But anyway, she was staying with this guy named Shamar. Shamir. Staying with him when she went over there. And he had a, I think him and her had sex. And you know, after you've been Sullivan so long that uh, it's kind of hard to, you know, get it going. <laughs> kind of hard to get it going. Don't ask me how I know somebody told me, okay? <laughs> but after a while, you meet a man, she met him, and then they tried to do the do. And she was a little rusty because it's been a minute since she had a man to do the do with her. So I think the first night it didn't go so well. But uh, she did like Stella, you know. <laughs> Got her groove back. Because that happened sometimes. I've had it happen to me. <laughs> well, I said, damn friend, I'm the friend. But yeah, I've been, and I'm still, I'm silver now. But I'm not mad about it. Because I don't just lay down with no just no anybody. You got to be somebody and have something. You know? But anyway, she, uh, they had a hard time, I think, the first night trying to get it going. But I guess, you know, Stella got her groove back in. And they did. I don't know. I don't think she enjoyed it. Or I don't know. Uh, it didn't turn out to be what I think both of them thought it was going to be. So... They end up, I think, just kind of being friends. But he let her still stay in a room that he had in his house. So she was in there living in the in the room and doing her uh, videos and and stuff and uh, trying to make money. And then he ended up bringing a friend into the equation which was a woman, I guess he had been talking to her, been dating. And while Rona back in the back room, making these damn videos, he in the front room, look like the living room, letting the woman suck on his pack pack. And video record the woman sucking on the pack pack. While Rona in the other room. And did it on live. 
I was like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She done gave you some clap and you gonna use the shit to put a bitch on here sucking on your peck pick. No. No. Well, anyway, that didn't go so well. So she called herself leaving. She left several times while she was standing there with him. But only for him to chase her. And he had this woman named Maria uh, that came from, I don't know where the mother came from, but she came from out of town to the Bahamas to, to visit him. And it sounded like something they do all the time. And, you know, all three of them was living there and I guess something must have popped off between uh, Arona and the woman Maria. And Arona ended up leaving and Shamira end up going back, finding Arona and bringing Arona back. But what I want to say is, how can you be a 37 year I can understand people being homeless. I've never been homeless. Never. I've never been homeless, so I don't know what it feel like to be homeless. I, I pray to the Lord that you don't never let me live that kind of life to be homeless. You know, I know this probably is a bad feeling, but if I lose this right here right now, or can't stay here anymore, I got a couple of places I can go lay my head. She got some family, but she's so silly and do silly shit and say silly shit that nobody won't, the family member won't fool with her. You know, after a while, when you dealing with family, you can only take so much, you know? After a while, you get tired of that shit. And you send them on down the fucking highway, like, look, like Popeye. Enough is enough. When he eat that damn spinach, Bruce will whoop his ass and run all over here and hit him with a goddamn car, train, and a bus. And Popeye will take it until he can't take no damn more. Then he pull out that spinach and he get that spinach power and whoop Bruce's ass. So I guess the D people be like, you know what, Ronald, we can't take you no more. You too much. So I guess they don't want to deal with her. So she, she been living in her airport for a minute. But ain't trying to do nothing for herself. You know, now if you make all this money doing this on YouTube and you got t-shirts that you sell, which is ugly, the shit ugly, the music ugly, she go on Yondo, I think I'm saying his name right, and steal his beats and then put her verses on it. And put that, some of the shit sound okay, but I really had something that, you know, I would purchase. I heard nothing that I would purchase, that I would be interested in from, uh, from her making money on. It ain't that good to me. But if you want to know who she is, just go down in my playlist. My Yeah, my playlist. And look up Arona. It's two of them. But it might be three. Because it's so much that she do. And people, other people make uh, videos on her. Some of, uh, I, ain't gonna, I don't know if they fans or not. I don't know whether to call them fans or not. I, I'm going to say watchers. That watches her and have went and created a page and put her name up on it. Her name is Arona Virgo. That's her original page. But the other people got Arona Lopez, Arona the Booger Girl, Arona the Cry Baby, Arona the Funk Bug, cause she don't like to wash her ass. She can't wash her ass cause she really ain't got nowhere to wash her ass. Well, she can. You can go to the gas station Arona and wash your ass, baby. At the airport, I guess she do that. And got the prettiest white teeth to be fucking homeless and not have a place to make herself, you know, look presentable. Got the prettiest white teeth. She just don't put forth an effort to try to get her a place to stay. You know, if these people donate to you, why don't you take that money and go find you some kind of little cheap apartment? And if you can't afford an apartment, go find you a little cheap uh I didn't know it was a difference between a hotel and a motel. I guess a hotel is for a home and a motel is for when you just go for a few hours and do the do and then leave. 
don't know. But go get you a hotel or a motel. Rent it out with the money that you make. But you ain't trying to do that. You trying to live off others, just like Elysio, same way. Now I'm finna talk about him. They been on his ass. Oh yeah. They been on Elysio ass. They all found this man called the Reaper, he found them. And he's been doing an investigation uh, on uh, Elysio trying to get him off of social media. I think him and Rona both need to be off of damn social media. They too much. Uh, Rona just got out of jail. What's today? Thursday? So she just got out of jail, I think, yesterday? That whole time she was in jail. I did not miss that motherfucker. No. Didn't miss him. Didn't miss her at all. I saw posting where people were around her. I'm still in jail. And they're asking Sean to find out information from, for for them, for on her, where she at, custom had her, trying to ship her ass back up. She got a smart mouth. That's another thing. That's what gets you in trouble, that old smart ass mouth you got. Just like Allegio, that old smart ass mouth you got, dude. Your mouth too smart. And y'all don't want to listen to nobody. Y'all two peas in a pot. I don't know why the fuck y'all ain't uh met up together, linked up together, because I would love to see y'all two get together and see who killed who for. Mm-hmm. See who hurt who first. He just a narcissist. He's controlling. Everything got to be way he say. How he say. What he say. It going to go the way he want it to go. Then he got the followers over there with him. His little crew. All of them got some mental help. You got to have some mental issue to follow a man that tells you what to fucking do all the fucking time. When to eat, when not to eat. Do he tell y'all when to shit? Do he tell y'all when to piss? Huh? It seemed like that to me. Eating one damn meal a day. One meal a day, they call it a solar meal. So they eat one meal a day until people been getting on his ass by how thin everybody been looking. And he passed these women off. He got three wives. But when he get through and fuck them out, the blue, um, I mean, just um, bust them out, then he'll give them to some of them other boys. But what I think it is, that's just me, 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 me. I think that old crazy woman he got, that Ileana, her name ain't Ileana, it's Velvet. Velvet gets mad cause he probably pumping on one more than he pumping on her. And then they cause a problem, and she have an all outburst, and that caused chaos in the camp. So then, when that happened, he'll go pass them off to the other boys that's in the in the camp. Some of the guys don't have uh, women in the camp. He about the only one got the got the women. But I would love to see him and Aroma hook up together. Elysio, he's down in. Uh, in the playlist too, check him out. I got everybody do video. You can go to anybody. Uh anybody on my playlist. You can go to any one of their videos and you'll see his ass. But I got a playlist for him too. Uh doing his own little old shit. But these people got mental health problems to in order to be over there and for him to control them like that. Cause a bitch like me. But let me back up. I did have a man like that. But that was my own fault that I let him control me like that. And I did. I, I But I did it because I was trying to make the relationship work. People that don't make the relationship work, either motherfucker love you or you don't. He respect you or you don't. And the man that I had did not respect me at all. No matter what I do, how I done it, how I said it, when I said it, I can be sweet as pie. But still, he thought I was the worst motherfucker that it was. Until I left. Until I left. This is how he disrespect me. He would call me name, talk about me, and then when I got a baby on me. And my dumb ass still stayed with him. Knowing I should have fucking left. But I knew it was something in his childhood. Like Bishop. 
that brought him to where he was at. And I felt like, you know, I'm the woman that can change this. And he, he had a you know bad experience with women. But I'm not that woman. I'm not like them. And I can change him. Shit. That motherfucker changed me more than I changed him. And that's what happened when you're trying to change somebody. You get changed more than that other motherfucker do. And then you lose yourself in the change. And that's what's going to happen with these people. With the change, they've lost themselves. And it's sad how he do them and how he talk to them and put them on this social media site and humiliate them. And I know them people be humiliated. They don't show it on here, but behind the scene, I know they don't say nothing because they don't say nothing when they on there to him. Somebody like me, now where I'm at in the space that I'm in now, shit, hell no, that shit ain't going to work. Mm -mm. We ain't going to be able to do that. I ain't going to be able to do it. She ain't going to be able to do it. We ain't going to be able to do it. No. And maybe that's why I'm by myself. Well, if that's the case, I'll stay by my motherfucking self. Because that shit will never happen again. No. It happened because I allowed it to happen. I let it happen. And Velvet, you need to get your ass home. All y'all need to go home. But I know you ain't. But you need to get your ass on the nearest damn airplane or run, walk, swim, get a damn rowboat and roll y'all motherfucking ass up out of there. Cause them people trying to come for y'all. They trying to come for Bishop and they, they if they come for Bishop and y'all there, y'all going down too. They got these big channels out here that, you know, fighting to get him off. I'm not no big channel. I'm not trying to be no big channel. I just who I am. I just come on here and speak my piece about what the fuck is going on with the situation. I don't see them getting him off. I wish they would. But I don't see them getting him off. I think he done went on too long. And people just done got comfortable with it. At first, when I first started watching it, it was, you know, funny. But then after I started seeing some fucked up shit, it wasn't so funny no more. Especially beating up them women. That shit ain't funny, that shit ain't cool. But today, that's what I brought you. And I gotta get off of him, cause I see some stuff going on in these streets. There's a lot of shit going on. But I'ma come back. I haven't been coming back like every day or every other day because I've been trying to sit on some of this stuff and check out some of the content that's going on. And when I get a chance, I'll come back and, and do it. Like this morning I woke up, I caught a video of Vic and Elysio making fun of Pops, which is Velvet's dad, who's trying to get Velvet out from over there, get Velvet home. Every time she get mad at uh, Elysio, she'll go call her daddy. And daddy won't come home or come get me. I don't know what the fuck the bitch say. But uh, the man, you know, he jump and go get her. Mm -mm. I come one time. And if you do me the way you did Pop, Fuck you, you on your motherfucking own. Even though I got love in my heart for you and I love you unconditionally, shit, I'll sit back on this motherfucker and watch you. Don't worry, Pop. They gonna dig their own grave. You just keep your head up. Stay strong. I know that's your daughter and you love her and you hate to see her, you know, going through what she going through. But it's gonna be okay. And I don't really think a lot of those other kids, parents, I don't think they're concerned about them kids being over there and what kind of danger they in. I really don't feel like they they, they care. They glad to have them gone because them kids probably was a bother to them. They probably would terrorizing the shit out of them family members where they come from. And them people are glad to have their ass gone. Because I don't see them jumping off the fence, jumping off a damn hot horse and a cow and a mule trying to get to their ass. I just don't. And a lot of these people that's got a big platform been reaching out, and I don't think they reaching back. And some of them might be, I don't know, they doing some stuff behind the scene. So I don't know, they might be reaching reaching back. I don't know. But we'll see. But right now, I got to get out for here. 
and get in these streets. And I want to show you this. This is a light, guys. I said I was going to show start showing you little stuff that you can do when the weather go out. This is a light. I don't know if you can see it's on, but it's on. And what this does is when we've been having a lot of bad weather here in Texas. So our lights and stuff been going off and they've been staying off for like days and weeks at a time because the weather been so bad. So I went to the dollar store and bought this light. These little solo lights. And I got them stuck around in the house. So when the lights go off, we'll have some lights. And I got tape on the back of it. And it's got battery. Take batteries, guys. Let me see if I can get the tape out. I'm always doing some shit. That's what I do. It got, see, take some batteries. Put some batteries in it. Open it up. Take two little batteries. And then you stick it somewhere, set it down, and you got lights. If the lights go out, I'll do my top drop. I'll have to find it. But I got the tape on it because I got it taped down so it'll stay stay in place. I'm always doing little shit like that. But they are dollar at the dollar store. So if you get a chance and you go in the family dollar store, you see them, pick them up. Family Dollar Store got a dollar, a uh, little dollar break or aisle. I'll go down and I'll pick up little stuff. So go to the Family Dollar Store and General Dollar. The General Dollar Store got a whole aisle with dollar stuff that you can um, find little stuff that you can put up, you know, when the lights and stuff go out. Batteries. Clearance. I love the clearance. Break. Clearance rack, clearance aisle. That's where I go in the damn store. As soon as I go in the goddamn store, that's where I go. As soon as I go in that mother, I'm going straight to the clearance. But I got to get off of here. And I got to get back in these streets and see what's going on. And I'll come back. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. I might just do a pop-up uh, thing. But y'all go check out the SL Nutrition. Good show. She puts on a good show. And check out Grand Grand. She don't do a lot of videos. She do a lot of posting. But check her out. Check out St. Timon. I, I, thank you, King Saint. Thank you, sir, for letting me sit on your platform yesterday i finally stepped my foot through the door and the people was real nice everybody was nice and thank you guys for being nice um i do a lot of memes y'all if i'm ever on your channel i love memes i don't mean no harm i just like memes that's how i express myself is through the memes you know and i can't forget about my number one boy world news you guys check him out. A lot of people don't like World. But I like World. He kind of remind me of me. You know, he just say what it is. Whether you like it or not. I see something white. Now, I don't know. I thought it was in my damn hair, but it ain't. I don't know where the fuck it's at. On the side of my face. Or I think I got it. Okay. I ain't like that shit. But yeah, check him out. He got a lot of controversy going on with some people right now. But that don't disencourage me from uh, still watching his show. Uncle Black. Y'all check him out. And it's spelled B-L-A-Q. Not B-L-A-K. B-L-A-Q. He's very historical. And that's the kind of stuff I like. I like historical stuff. Yes. I'm a historical girl. I used to love history in school. Oh, yes. History, science. Oh, that was my favorite. That was my favorite. This other stuff, the chakra and all that. I don't know too much about that. I'm just not trying to uh, learn about it. But it is interesting. <coughs> it's all interesting. 
Very much so. So guys, I'm going to get off of here and get back out here in these streets. Smoke me a little tweak and move around in these streets. Oh, let me not forget Miss Fundy Foo. Check her out. Fundy Fee, check her out. She has a real good platform too. I haven't went into her room. I've passed through. But I see her here in the other chats. You know. When you hear me talking like that, that's my COPD. I'm just trying to be straight up with you. Because one day I might go live. Right now I'm not monetized to go live. I'm not in no hurry to get that shit monetized to go live. I like what I do. This right here is my open heart surgery score. If you see that. You know, I just so if I do ever get, you know, somewhere, be something or somebody, people come after me and want to use that against me. I don't give a fuck. That's my help. That's what God has in store for me on my journey. So I have to accept it. And if I can accept it and nobody else can't, move the fuck on. And like I said, if you don't like my video and what the fuck I say, bye. Bye. It ain't for you. I ain't doing it for you. I did it for fucking me. I keep saying that shit. It's for me. And me only. To express myself. That's what I'm doing. I'm expressing how I feel on the channels that I drive through. Now, I gotta turn some corners now and drive around in the YouTube streets and see what's going on. Key Dead is another one. Check her out. I've got some more other channels that I've been looking at that I hadn't mm, mm, had no, um, had uh, really tended to because it's really not my cup of tea, you know. But I'm going to go to them and I'm going to sit on them. If I'm going to be doing this, I, I, I got to sit on them. It's just one, it's just hard for me to sit on. But I got to get myself together. And get in there and sit on it and see what it's about. I keep hearing his name in the street. And I see this name on everybody channel doing devilment shit. Saying devilment shit. And I just kind of uh, go through by the neighborhood or by the house and keep going. But I'm uh, I'm going to stop by and visit one day. But maybe today I might do that. But anyway... Guys, it's pretty and sunny here in Texas today, but we're supposed to get some bad weather. So wherever you at, I hope the weather is lovely, and I hope you're doing lovely, and I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, lovely day, whether it's sunny or rainy where you are. Enjoy your day, because I'm about to enjoy mine until we cross this path again. Peace.